drone-based hacks, a maturing cybercrime black market, and even hacks on the human body. Thanks to technology's growing sophistication, these are some of the new potential attack vectors for cybercriminals. In March, a researcher from SensePost demonstrated how technology inside a drone allowed him to hack into people's mobile phones to obtain usernames, passwords, credit card info, and home addresses. So you can see three devices or three mobile phones down below and we're collecting data about at least those three people. Remote airborne hacks could wreak all kinds of havoc as global drone manufacturing increases. The story's the same for wearable technology, which could give hackers unprecedented access to the tools we wear on or in our bodies. And as the cybercrime black market grows more sophisticated, the opportunity for hacking will grow for anyone with enough cash. The, they range from products to uh, enable initial access to get onto a target box, the actual payloads that get sent onto the, uh, onto the targets, um, infrastructure to make sure that attacks can happen as they're supposed to, um, as a service models to, if, if you can't do it yourself, hire someone else to do it for you. But there's hope if law enforcement stays on top of the trends. The cyber threat will overtake and be our number one priority moving forward. Soon to be listed number one on the FBI's threat list, even above terrorism. Law enforcement really is getting better. Um, in the last uh, 10 to 15 years, uh, more digital natives are, are entering the law enforcement. Uh, they're more um, savvy with technology. Um, there is better partnership. There are better partnerships and cross pollination between groups and organizations. For more technology news, visit govtech.com.